What's up, yo? It's your boy Big Guns for Hire. And this is my review, man, of Lucha Underground for today's episode 24th of February. Dude, what a show, man. Finally, Lucha Underground is officially back. It was an outstanding show, man. Best show of the season yet. Um, I can't get, man, it was really good. It was three ma it was actually four matches today. All of them were very entertaining and God excuse the shaking man of the camera. I'm, I'm, I'm driving right now. But man, what an incredible show, man. The first match was e e Evans, Evans versus Black. Very entertaining match. Um, Evans, you know Evans get down. He, he does his thing. And uh, I was very impressed with his uh, performance in today's show. A lot of nice kicks. It, the same thing goes with Black, man. Black has a future in wrestling, man. I mean, this boy should get, should get, should, he should, this man should get picked up to or to work for WWE, man. WWE should take a look at this guy, VJ um, uh, Black, man. He's pretty good. But uh, they went against each other now. That match, uh, as you guys know, last week, uh, Evans had a match with uh, Drago, and this time around, Drago came into the match today and intervened and kind of ruined the match at the end, you know. Uh, I didn't like that too much, but uh, it was a good match nonetheless. So the second match was King Cuerno versus Killshot. Now, that was another outstanding match, man. Uh, King Cuerno, like always, very entertaining. And Kill Shot, man, he he's a lot of fun to watch, man. King uh, Kill Shot, very talented, very uh, athletic. Now <clears throat> there was a uh, a point in the match where uh, Kill Shot made a mistake when he had King Cuerno outside the ropes, and he was trying to pull out. Uh, a move of the of outside of the ring right by the uh 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 around the turnbuckle at the edge of the ring outside the ring and and he messed up big time but other than that man it was a pretty good match look at this idiot what an asshole it was a good match man it was uh, very entertaining and uh very in, in, um very fun to watch, man. A lot of kicks, a lot, a lot of uh, high, uh, high flying moves by Kill Shot, man. Kill Shot, like I say, man, he got a future in wrestling. Sadly to say, man, you know, WWE is very racist, and they will not give that boy a chance. I freaking guarantee it. They will not give Kill Shot a chance in in their in their in their uh, show, and. But it was good, man. That match uh, was won by uh, King Cuerno, and he, he did pretty good, man. Now, the third match was Tejano in a gullet match versus Chavo, Cisco, and uh, Castro. And that match right there, man, uh, I was very impressed by um uh, by uh Tejano man last year I, uh you know the, the the Tejano came about on the first season and with a few against El Patron and but they didn't really show too much he didn't show too much of of himself his skill until he had that match with El Patron and but this time around man I saw a lot of uh Tejano and I was very impressed man look at this asshole with his freaking high beams, dog. I mean, come on, son. Gosh, what a freaking asshole, yo. But uh, this time around, man, Tejano show a lot of of uh, problems, man. I was very impressed. I can see why he has such a, so much fame, such a large fan base, man. Uh, he destroyed Cisco. 
with one move. And then with Castro, he, he pretty much demolished him. Now, again, in that match, I was, um, the way they ended, I, was, I wasn't too happy about the ending of that match. Um, I started to see a lot of WWE bullshit today. I, 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 that part right there, you know, like in this match, uh, Tejano um, um, was getting ready to pull a move or, or from uh, like a suplex move with Chavo being outside the ring and, and he being inside the ring to finish off uh, Chavo. And then they they some yeah, Castro grabbed the rope and 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 kind of um, um, tripped uh, Tejano and grabbed him by the leg and and what's his name was able to Chavo was able to get a a, a, a pin by cheating. Now that's WWE shit. You know I am not pleased with that man. I'm afraid that I'm seeing too much WWE. Um, kind of stuff and I know this stuff happened in wrestling a lot you know it's part of the story mode I get it but other than that man I was very impressed with Tejano man Tejano looks good yo I'm, I'm telling you he, he looks like a good good wrestler remind me a lot of it's like an athletic version of Steve Austin to tell you the truth but anyway um the main event which was Cage versus Johnny Mundo. Man, what a great match, man. Cage is a, is a beast. And Johnny Mundo, man, he's a great wrestler. Uh, you know, you gotta be pretty much a scrub or a WWE wrestler to look bad when you have a match with Johnny Mundo, man. I mean, Cage looked phenomenal. Johnny Mundo looked phenomenal. It was a great, great match. Now again, once again, at the end of the match, some new wrestling female jumped in and ruined the match. Um, again, some more of that WWE crap. You know, I I can take a match, maybe two, where people jump in and intervene and ruin the match. But, you know, when you get, you know, 90% of your show, um, well, no, forget it. 100% of your show. When somebody jump in in all of your matches and ruin the match, now nah, that, that's not right. You know, I don't like that. I hope that they don't do this throughout the whole season because that's going to kind of ruin it for me, man. I like to see when matches uh, get uh, in with a clear winner and uh, when somebody cheat to win, man. I don't like that. So I'm hoping that on the next uh, episodes, we will see that garbage, man. Because for that, I go ahead and watch WWE, real talk. But other than that, man, like I say, I was very, very happy with the show tonight. It was very exciting. Uh, even though, you know, they had the people intervening in the show, uh, all the, it still was fun to watch and I cannot wait to next week because next week um, we're going to have the uh, next week we're going to have King Cuerno go against Phoenix but this time King Cuerno going to have to defend the uh, gods or whatever title that he has so we'll see man, what happened in that match you know, but, uh, and the promos, man, I'm telling you, man, the promos today were off the chain, man. They had this, they cut a promo with Huerta or Huerto, whatever his name is, where he, uh, gives a little bit of, he gives a story about, uh, way, why, why he, uh, with his brother and him as they were growing up and their mother being abusive. And I mean, that story was, was, man, I never seen nothing like that, man, in, re in wrestling. It was a really good storyline. I enjoy it. I like it. Uh, it was credible. And, uh, man, that, I'm telling you, they can cut a promo really nice. So, um, 
like I say, man, we'll see next week what it's gonna be about. I can't wait. And uh, you gotta watch it, man. If you haven't watched Lucha on the Ground, bro, you are missing out big time. Lucha on the Ground is the best wrestling show going on right now, man. So make sure you check it out next Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time on the Red Network, man. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, to later, man. Peace and uh, adios. Damn, that cop almost ran over that motherfucker.